Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Writer. In this module, I want to show you how you can add sections and columns to a document. So first of all, let's have a look how you add columns to just a blank document. So I've got the tabs activated. So if I go into the layout tab, you've got page columns and it's a case of selecting whatever option you want there you can go into more options gives you a, a few more options and you can add spaces and things like that if i just come off this one for a second i'm just going to put three columns on there and your page is divided into three now when you start typing what happens is it just wraps around the first column and doesn't automatically jump into the next one if you want to go into the next column you need to put a break in there so this is the option break and I want a column break and then OK and then it jumps across into the next column and I can carry on typing again and likewise if I want to do another one manual break column OK and it does the same and that's how you create columns now if I get a blank document there are some times that you um, might want to split a document up so you might have some heading text at the top and then if I just paste some text that I've got here now let's say I want this to be in two columns what you can do is highlight highlight this text if I get, if I get it correctly there it is what you, ha you, you need to create a section so if I go insert section you've got I just want one section for this now if I go to the format tab and go into sections you've got options in there to name that section so I'll call this two columns down the bottom here you've got options if I go into there you can select how many columns you want to be in this section so I just want two I've called it two and then you get the preview there and uh, you can do the spacing if you want it wider that'll do for me I'll click OK to that click OK to that and then you've got your text split into two sections which will allow you, for example, to have a title across the top as a normal page. And once you've finished with that title, you might want normal text underneath. So that's basically how you can create a document with Scott that has columns in it, but also normal text with just one column. So you create a section, you in the section options, you select how many columns you want for that section. And then outside of that section, it's just back as a normal document. So hopefully that was of use, how to create sections, how to create columns within sections, and just how to create general columns if you want them on a whole page. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.